Good morning, gardeners. It's Monday, June 21st, and we received heavy rains last night from Tropical Storm Claudette. Everything in my garden is soaking wet, and this is going to be a great opportunity for me to show you all how you can prevent the spread of tomato diseases in your garden for almost no money at all. The way tomato diseases typically start in the garden is rain will fall and splash soil-borne bacteria, viruses, and fungi from the soil all over the lower leaves of the plant they become infected and then the disease spreads and travels up the plant. And the problem is once tomato plants get infected, it becomes very difficult to control the disease because any wet or damp humid weather will cause the spread. And because it rained last night, we are now in prime conditions for diseases to spread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a very simple, easy and cheap spray that you can make that will prevent these diseases from spreading. That way your plants will stay healthy enough throughout the season and keep producing for you. And to make this spray, I'm going to use simple 3% hydrogen peroxide that you can pick up at practically any store. I bought this for 88 cents at Walmart. And I'm going to mix this 3% hydrogen peroxide in a sprayer at a concentration of 12 tablespoons per gallon. Now, when you use this spray, you have to make sure that it is 3% hydrogen peroxide. If you use something that's a stronger concentration, you're going to have to reduce how much you put in the water or else you could burn up your plants. The other thing that I recommend is that you test spray. Don't just take my word for it. You may want to start out with a slightly weaker solution and work your way up to 12 tablespoons per gallon just to make sure that your plants can tolerate it. I find that the tomato plants are very hardy. They can tolerate a good bit of hydrogen hydrogen peroxide and it works well in my climate but if you live in an area that has stronger sun than I do you may need to reduce the concentration so keep that in mind always test spray now 12 tablespoons is the same volume as three quarters of a cup and because this is one quart which is four cups that means that I will get 5.33 gallons worth of mix out of this simple bottle of hydrogen peroxide for 88 cents. So that means that each individual one gallon treatment will only cost you 16 and a half cents. It literally does not get any cheaper than that. So this is a two gallon pump sprayer. So I'm going to put two gallons worth of hydrogen peroxide in that, which is one and a half cups. So I'm going to take a measuring cup, fill this up, pour it in. And now I'm just going to fill it up with water until the two gallons are completely full. And if you're interested in this sprayer, I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. I will also link to a video above where I talked all about this sprayer. It's really miraculous in the way it coats everything. It's a ULV fogging machine and it coats my plants just expertly and perfectly. Now it's about 9 a.m. right now and it's overcast so there is no direct sun that is beating down on my garden. You do not want to spray when there is direct sunlight beating down on your plants or the hydrogen peroxide could mix with the sun and burn your leaves. If you can't spray in the early morning, make sure to spray at sunset when there is no sun beating down on your garden so you do not damage your plants. Chemically speaking, hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, which when exposed to air and light, rapidly breaks down into H2O and O2, which is water and oxygen gas. So there are no chemical residues when you use hydrogen peroxide. It just breaks down into water and oxygen very quickly. So really you can use it after rainstorms pretty much every time it rains at that eight to 12 tablespoon per gallon concentration. Just again, make sure you test spray and you make sure that it doesn't burn up your plants. Make sure those concentrations work for you in your climate like it works for me in my climate. And because it's so cheap to do, you can certainly afford to spray this as much as necessary. So if you live in a humid climate and it's been very stormy lately, all you have to do is go outside and spray your plants down 
once it stops raining and there's a good chance that will help stop a lot of the disease spread. So everybody, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about any of the products that I use in my garden, they are all linked in the video description in my Amazon storefront. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see all of you again on the next video. Do, 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 what for dinner, what for dinner? I, wait a second. What is this? What time is it? Oh boy, it's 7.46 and Dale hasn't eaten yet. Dale, are you hungry? Oh my goodness, somebody's hungry. Oh boy, oh, I think we have a hungry boy here. Oh, let's see what's in the refrigerator. Okay, oh, here's Dale's dinner. What do we have here? We have some leftover, oh, chicken and rice and carrots and kale. Is this what you want, buddy? Are you hungry? Oh, you're very hungry. Oh, are you ready for dinner? All right, oh, this smells so good, even I'd eat it. Oh, okay, buddy, time for dinner. Time for dinner. All right, Dale, sit. Okay, good boy, dinner time.